Okay. You might want to think about some rain gutters. Just saying. You think all that water splashing down here is getting to get the brick, getting to get the uh, the wood right here, right? Four entry type trim. Do you think that's going to cause it to cause the rock prematurely? I do. That's what I think. This is a door opener video. We have a metal overhead door. We have an emergency pull handle. This is a door switch, right? A doorbell right here. Natural is not supposed to be closer to the threshold than five feet. So that little hands don't come up. It's too close. Let's measure that. Let's measure that. Let's see what we got going here. Not supposed to be closer than five feet. All right. There, that's just a stoop. That's not even the threshold. It's just a little short. They were just so close. So little hands don't get up here. We got a warning notice. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Now we're supposed to have a warning notice posted on this door as well. And there it is. Right there. That's a good thing. And then on each corner we have a spring tension notice. We've got those. The manual door lock has been decommissioned. That's a good thing so that you don't close the door and lock it and then forget and try to open the door again and then it gets the door crazy. Now they left it here in case you lose the service of the door open. The courtesy lights working. Full handles there. Ooh, that's, that's all good things. Let's check this out. This is a GFCI ground fault circuit interrupter. I'm going to test this. The light went out. The light went out. All right, I'm going to reset it. The light came back on. See that? I wasn't anywhere close to that. So it's GFCI protected. We know that we've got that. So what are we missing? The optic sensors are higher from the ground than six inches. They should not be further from the ground than six inches so that a cat or a kid or something doesn't get stuck in there. See the way the water's hitting that? Just a matter of time. So the optic sensors are too high. You also have to have a pull handle inside of here in case you're using the manual door lock. In case you had to pull this. In case the GFCI works and it goes into manual operation, you got to have a way, should have a way, to get the door open and closed. So without yanking on the, you know, that's that's flimsy. That's going to bend. And then your door is going to be all bent up and looking old and ragged. You don't want your door looking old and ragged. I don't want my door looking old and ragged. So you should have a pull handle installed right there, so that you can get the door open in case the GFCI trips and you had to pull this handle to get it to work. So, what we learn? Switch is too low. Do not have a pull handle. Optic sensors are too high. Now we're gonna test this. I do not do block tests. That's on my inspection uh, agreement. It's a business decision that I've made. Do no harm. I'm not here to tear the property up. If a block test is important, and you know they are, the builder, can do a block test for you. A builder can show you how the block test works. That's what he could do with a final walkthrough that you would know. But we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do it with the optic sensor. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take my foot and put it past the sensor right there. So we're coming all along. And that's that. It works. Okay, bonus round. Because it's pretty close. We're at the end of um, appliances and we're going to the beginning of auxiliary, supplemental, extra stuff. Our zones are labeled. We have a care and use manual. This is the lawn sprinkler system, excuse me. All right. <laughs> and I had it open. And this is the sensor. Excuse me, this is the receiver for the rain sensor, weather sensor actually. So that's the sensor. I have not found the 
That's the that's the receiver. I have not found the sensor sensor yet. Okay. But this is the lawn sprinkler system. This is where it's located. It's inside of the garage. Is this GFCI protected too? Well, that's one way to find out. That's what we want to know. We want to know if it's protected. Now, so far, I just said went, went dead. Okay. Now, so far, so far we know. Actually, so far I don't know. I saw the neighbor's rain sensor, but I did not see this rain sensor. So. We'll talk about it when the time comes.